everyone welcome back to study with manjula and i am your friend manjula sri so today i am with the representation of geographical features part 3 in part 1 and 2 we have discussed about the map about the globe and as well as about the scale but today we are going to deal with types of maps according to scale and directions okay so types of maps according to scale we know some of the types of map maps like political physical economic climatic condition maps and even for many others we know many of them but in that particularly the according to scale there are two types one is small scale and another one is large scale maps now what are the small scale and what are these large scale are there any 15 cm rural or 30 cm rural no according to scale what is the scale in geographical features we have learned about the map what what is the scale actually which represents the ground distance to the map distance used to measure is known as a scale so according to this scale there are two types one is small scale and other one is large scale so first we are going to learn about small scale maps okay small scale maps are nothing but for example first i will say the definition of small scale okay small scale maps the maps which show a larger area with less details maps which show larger area with less details now what are large scales are shows a very small area with large details means with many details it will show okay so i will say the example of small scale if you take a world map it is very large map okay it's very large map but the details are in shown that is very less like it will show only the continent names some of the country names and ocean the five oceans we have those names it will show can it show the whole uh, once in a clear detail no it's not possible even If you take a very large, very big map, then only in that you can see. But it's very difficult even. So for that, they have discovered the small scale. Small scale, if you take like India, if you take, then it is also. If you take India, in that you can find some of the states. In that you can find the states. But can you find some of the districts? No. So again, if you take a state map, in that you can find districts. If can you find? some of the areas in present in the district okay if you take the district map in that you can find the areas but can you find exact measurement of this road and how much uh, distance is from this area to this area can you find no if you take the small area particular area if you take on a map then it will show yes here is the ring road here is one of the temple here is one of the school the road is unmetal or the road is metal something it will show with the many details so that showing in a detail is known as large scale understood okay now what the small area we have took but with many details what is it showing where is the road what is it everything it will show so that is known as large scale small scale means what with A large area. India is a very large area showing on the map, but very less details. Now we have understood, right? Now on a small scale, we get three types of maps. One is physical, one is climatic, and the other one is economic. So these three maps we know before, and in large scale map, we are getting two types. One is topographical, and the other one is cadastral. so we know about physical climatic and economic physical uh, means what physical maps what are the physical features it will show the rivers mountains hills and lakes etc it will show climatic means what a uh, weather report you know right like how much rainfall it will come there how much um, earthquakes uh, how much centimeter it will take take place that will show in climatic maps economic means economic developments what are the economic developments such as buildings you know buildings these are the economic ones buildings parks these all you can see in economic map or even you can see ha huh, for example i will say 
See, in Atlas book, we have some of the economic maps such as, if you take India, in that you can find uh, in which state, which animals are famous. That also comes under economic, which dance is famous. That also comes under economic maps. Okay, so these all are small scale maps. Next comes large scale map is topographical and cadastral. So these two are new introduced to us. So let's discuss about this topographical and cadastral. Okay, now we are going to learn about cadastral maps, which are the large scale maps. So this cadastral is a word that is cadast. Which is derived from a French word. So this word cadastral is derived from a French word that is cadastre. Which means register of the Territorial property. Territorial property. Okay. Cadast, which is a French word, which means register of the territorial properties. Before going to this line, First, we should know what these cadastral maps represent. Okay. So, these cadastral maps represent the height, the exact heights, the exact length of the road or how much distance it is. Like I have said that in the large scale maps, I have said the distance between how much is the road and how much height is the mountain or how much height is that hill. How much height in a, in Google Maps? If you see in that it will show. Okay, if you will zoom out in that you will find the small scale. Like only India, some of the part of the India you can find. If you zoom in, you you can find your area which shows many details. So that is the large scale. Those are also the examples. Some of the examples of small scale and large scale. Okay. So, this cadastral map shows some of the heights, distances and some of the territorial properties. Like for example, if you take a building, if you take a, in a map, if you take two buildings, this is the map of your area you think, okay. So, this is a building here, constructed over here and this is another building. And this is some of the uh, ground you think, okay. Wait, I will make it larger. So this is your area you think. Here is one of the building. Here is one of the building. And here is one of the ground or park whatever you think. Okay. So uh, or other, here is one of the temple you think. Or some you think. Or a hut. hut. Anything you think just okay. So in cadastral maps it will show what is the height of this building. It will show and this height of the building it will show and what is the perimeter of this park or the ground you know what is perimeter the total boundary length is known as perimeter of an area how you will find it this is the length this is the breadth there's a formula right what is the formula 2 into L plus B means length in length plus breadth so, this you will learn in your mathematical classes in your school. Okay. So, this is like this you will find. It will also tell the length of the part or breadth of the part. And even it will show what is the distance from this building to this building. And how much distance from this building to the parts also it will show. Okay. And this temple and this height of this temple or whatever it is, it will also show. So, in this perfect detailed measurements, if the map shows, then it goes under cadastral maps. Now, we have understood cadastral maps. Okay. Now, we are going to learn about topographical maps. 
Okay, friends. Now we are going to learn about topographical maps. Okay. So, what are these topographical maps? Some of the maps which show the certain place or certain like for example, not for example. Okay. I have shown you some of the conventional signs and symbols in part two. Today also I am going to show in the ending of this video. Okay. So. These conventional signs and symbols are perfectly used in this topographical maps. Only with the conventional signs and symbols, these maps are designed. So, these maps are made from the Survey of India. Survey of India. So, these Survey of India, what they will do is, So, this topographical maps will not remain same for a whole of the time. Okay. So, they will change. Like for example, this survey of India, what they will do is, they will see, if there is a forest. For um, after, there is a forest in a place. After many years, they will see, the forest have been deforested and they will construct some of the buildings there. So, then they will, what they will do is, they will make a new map with all others with their details and they will change. If they will use the forest symbols, then they will abolish that forest symbol and they will keep the symbol using villages and towns. We have saw one of the symbol that they will use. Now you have understood. So in that way, this survey of India, they will design this topographical maps. Okay. So I want to show one of the topographical maps. Okay friends, so this is a topographical map in front of you. This is in my atlas book. You can find even in your books. So this is the grid. I have said latitude. These are the latitudes and these are the longitudes. You can find red lines. Okay, you can find these are the latitudes, red lines and these are the longitudes. See, these are the symbol for towns and Villages, I have shown you. Right? And there is another map. So, these lines you can find, right? What are these lines? They show some of the plateaus, areas even. Okay. And there is another map. This is also another map. Showing. Showing some of the places. And see, you can see a blue dot here. You can see a blue dot here. So, what is the blue dot represents? Wells and tanks. Right? Okay. Now, you can find rivers even here. Okay, they have not given I think so. Okay, no problem. And here, here is one of the town. There you can find temple symbol. Right? So, like that, in the map, they will use the signs and symbols. So, below the map, there is a key here given symbols so these boxes are known as legend the key of map is known as legend okay now you can see this these are the symbols and here also they have given right Okay, so these topographical maps show all the features of the certain area showing along with the plain lands. What are the plain lands given there? Is there any Latin, I mean, plateaus are uh, there? So those all it will show in topographical maps. So these topographical maps are also known as topo sheets. These topographical maps are also known as 